guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Loki Subaru in Port Ritchie, Florida, because guess what? We're gonna answer that $10,000 question and we're gonna do it no better way than with the final additions. This is the final year of this current generation Subaru WRX and Subaru WRX STI. Now remember, it goes all the way back to the early 1990s when the Impreza came out on the scene. Subaru was switching from the Legacy to that Impreza to do all of their world rallying. They created the WRX and the STI. For so many years here in the United States, everybody else was having fun with their all-wheel drive, turbocharged, flat four rally cars. We did not get those until much later. The first WRX made its scene here on our shores in 2002. That was the famous bug eye WRX, Subaru. The STI did not come until 2004. Those are referred to the blob eye, and it's all about the shape of the headlight design. These models though, this generation, first came out in 2015. There was a slight little refresh, but now it's time to say goodbye. And on top of that, if you're gonna make the buy on one of these, should you go that extra $10,000 route and go with the STI? Plus, what's new for 2020? Is there anything new? So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna start off with the WRX. So as we come across the front, you can see the styling. Now, one thing that's unique about the WRX is that with the refresh, they kept the fog lamps. That gives it really that rally car look. You're still gonna get that same hood scoop. Both of these are featured in World Rally Blue. This was the front end of the business that was refreshed in 2018. But I think one of the reasons why people love the WRX styling a little bit more front end is gonna be because they kept the fog lamps because that was also available on the STI, but not anymore. As we see, we go to the front of the STI, all new for 2020 is gonna be some goodies. One of those goodies are new functional air ducts on each of the corners. They actually brought some glass, uh, gloss black. They redesigned this whole area and you can see how it curves in and air is gonna flow into those two corners. I love the horizontal slot as well to kind of split the difference, but it looks really great compared to the 2019. Now, as we come across the front, one thing you're not gonna see on that WRX are those three letters. STI, Subaru Technica International. That is that motorsports arm of Subaru that's responsible for getting connected with ProDrive and the whole rally car effort. They do the 24 hours of the Nürburgring, tons of stuff going on with STI, even when it comes to rally cross here in the United States. But that cherry blossom red color, that pink color, is all about the cherry blossoms around the STI factory and the Subaru factory. Same grill, same hood scoop. It's what's underneath the hood scoop that's gonna be different on the STI compared to the WRX. But the first thing that is the big standout is gonna be those new ducts that's new for 2020, no fog lamp like on the WRX. And of course, you look for that badging, that STI badge. But let's go ahead and check out the sides of these two Subaru. All right guys, time to check out the 2020 WRX from the side. Now, one thing that's interesting that's new for 2020 that unfortunately this one doesn't have is that performance package now includes four piston bright red Brembo calipers. That will be coming to Radies Rise, so stay tuned for that. But let's go around the corner here and check out what we're working with. Now, this is a premium trim level. So this is the 18 inch wheel, not the 17 inch wheel. This is an 18 inch wheel. I really love the design. I like the way it's borderline gloss black, gun metal gray. It really is walking that fine line, but it looks really great with the World Rally Blue. As we continue down the side, side fender, you can see how distinct it is with the byline, same fender as the STI. There's that WRX badge and that flared fender look. The lower sill, same as, it, as the e e STI as well. Now remember, it's the wheels. Look for the wheels. That's going to be the major way besides the wing, but the wing isn't always telling because people add them to their WRX or they do the wing delete on their STI. But as we work our way back to the rear, you can see very nice distinct body lines, really has that overall balanced rally car look to it. And that's what has always drawn me to the Subaru WRX and STI. But let's go ahead, check out that 2020 STI and see what it looks like. All right guys, time to check out the side of the 2020 STI. Just like we pointed out, all new for 2020 are those air ducts. Here is another change. As we come around, 
We talked about the WRX having 18 inch wheels. This is a 19 inch wheel that comes on the STI. Now, before you look at this wheel and you say, wow, it's a different wheel than last year's. No, it's not. It's actually the same exact design that came out in 2018 when the STI first got 19 inch wheels. What they did was is they machined finished parts of the wheel to make it have a two-tone look to it rather than just gunmetal gray. At first, I'll be honest, I did not like the look when I saw it in pictures. This is now the second STI. We did do a white one here on Rady's Rides from Loki. Started to grow on me. Now that I see the World Rally blue, it works. At first, I thought it was a little too like tuner car-ish, so to speak. That's like new words I'm coming up with but it really does fit the World Rally Blue. Massive six piston calipers in that day glow yellow color. That's gonna be different from the WRX. Remember on the WRX, you just had standard calipers. Even if you went performance package, you would have four piston Brembos. This has full six piston Brembo calipers and cross drilled and fully ventilated rotors. That is also different than the WRX. As we work our way in the fender, same exact fender, this is gonna be different. Of course, you're driving an STI, so you're gonna get the STI badging on the side. Lower sill is exactly the same. Proportions are exactly the same, no matter if we're looking at that model of the WRX or this model of the STI. Wheels, brakes, and like I said, off the front, new for 2020 is gonna be that rear duct. Now, as we come to the rear of the car, love the bylines, and then this wing. This is that rally car wing, synonymous with the STI, it is a functional piece. You can get a wing delete if you do not want it. Why you wouldn't want it is beyond me. I know some people just want that cleaner look or they need to act more grown up. The heck with that, growing up is overrated. I love this wing. Let's go ahead though, we're gonna check out the tail end of the business for both the WRX and the STI. All right guys, tail end of the business on the WRX. Really the main difference is gonna be wings and badging. This is that nice trunk lid spoiler that's on this premium trim WRX. If you were to go STI delete, wing delete, this is the spoiler you would get. As we drop down, this is exactly the same from 2015. So no change has taken place on the tail end. You have the LED brake lights, but not LED turn signals. You have your full all wheel drive badging. Here's your WRX badge, which is gonna be obviously a telling point. And then the same exact diffuser and quad exhaust on both vehicles, same as 2015. But let's go ahead and just so you know I'm telling the truth, let's go check out the back of that STI. All right guys, that WR blue on both of these. WR stands for World Rally. Think about it, it's, there's a connection. That rear wing that we talked about already, what's great about it is that not only is it gonna be functional, not is it only such an iconic piece to the whole STI puzzle, but when you're behind the wheel and you're looking out your rear view, the way that the Subaru engineers designed the wing is that it doesn't even block your vision, which is phenomenal. So if you're worried about that and you're like, I need to go this, the wing delete route because it's gonna block my view, it does not. Now, as we drop down, I just love looking at that wing, to be honest with you. Same tail lights, there's that STI badge, Subaru Technica International, just like up front. Very clean. As we come up to the other side, you're gonna get the full badging, just like on the WRX with the all-wheel drive. One thing I wanna point out though, I'm gonna point out again when we get inside, is that the all-wheel drive system of the STI is much different, much more advanced than on the WRX. You actually have three differentials, one out in the rear, one up front, and then there's an electronic computer control differential in the center. WRX does not have that. Same quad exhaust, same rear diffuser, same great look that's been around, like I said, since 2015. But why don't we go ahead and check out another big difference. Let's pop the hoods and see what's different between the WRX and the STI. All right, guys, we got the hoods popped on these two rally car icons. We'll start with the WRX because this is where you're gonna see some difference of why the STI is $10,000 more. So let's go to the WRX. What's nice to see on both of these models, you're getting hood struts to hold up the hood. What you're looking at underneath though is a two liter flat four turbocharged engine. This one being a two liter, 268 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. This one, you can have the WRX, you can get manual, or if you don't know how to drive manual or don't want to drive a manual, you can get it with a CVT transmission. The WRX weighs around 3,272 pounds. Where it's definitely gonna excel over the STI is gonna be MPGs, 21 in the city, 27 in the highway. This is that FA motor. 
You could tell at the top that it's an FA motor because you have the large engine cover that's a smaller intercooler than what you're going to find on the STI. And here we are. Let's go ahead and talk about the STI. This EJ motor has been around since 2004, if you could believe that. I love the intake plenum, that nice, bright, cherry blossom red color. Notice the larger intercooler. This motor is not a 2 liter. It's a 2.5 liter flat four turbocharged engine. What's great is, is you're going to get more power over the WRX. So you're going to get 310 horsepower, 290 pound feet of torque. The STI weighs a little bit more than the WRX, 3,451 pounds. Only way to get a Subaru STI is you have to get it with a six speed manual. But I promise you, the six speed manual in this car is so wonderful to row through. It really makes you want to drive it more and more and more. The other thing that I love about the old EJ motor is that there's no plastic. You could see all the inner workings, all the inner bits a lot more clear than you can on that WRX. But that is really another difference. 268 horsepower compared to 310 horsepower. Let's go ahead though, fire these two up and see what they sound like. Right, guys we're going to keep this a little short and brief since we are comparing two cars in one review here if you're wondering well joe what is the price what's the msrp on this wrx the way that this one sits it's a premium with certain little options which i'll point out in a second is right around thirty one thousand dollars so if you do the addition you would know that an extra 10 grand that's what the sti is going to cost around an msrp of forty one thousand dollars there's some major differences though let's go to the door panels now on the wrx I do like the way you're getting the leather on the back portion of the door with that red contrast stitching. Very nice touches with some flat black around the switch gear as we go from the door panel to the dash. Now what's interesting on the WRX, you're going to get this faux carbon fiber. Now it looks pretty real. It looks like a wet weave carbon fiber, but this is only on the WRX. You don't get the faux carbon fiber on the STI. Both cars, you're going to get this nice leather hood here with the stitching and then of course a plethora of information from your boost gauge to all different sorts of readouts in both vehicles equally. This one as you work your way down has the Starlink system, no navigation, it has regular AC controls, no, no dual, dual climbing. You are getting Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Little cubby area and then you have a 12 volt in here. This is a six-speed transmission. Now you can get it with a CVT even though both of these cars have six-speed transmissions, this one is totally different. Totally different way of engaging it. Clutch feel, the whole nine yards. The STI is better. This isn't terrible, but the STI transmission is leagues ahead, even though this is still pretty good. Like the leather, like the red contrast stitching. This is a little bit cheaper. You don't get SI drive. Like I said, there's no electronically controlled center diff. So very simplistic, just with your cup holders here and whatnot. You do get heated seats. This one has the optional raising armrest. And then when it comes to seats, these are your standard WRX seats. Now you'll see when we get to the STI, they're much nicer, but these are full cloth. They are comfortable, they are supportive, and they both are manual adjust, no electric adjust. Now what's nice about this WRX, it is optioned with the sunroof which is great, which you're not going to see on that STI sitting over there. It also has the optional auto dimming mirror, frameless mirror, and this shift knob is not stock. This is the optional STI shift knob. Steering wheel, you'll see the leather is actually a little different on the WRX wheel than on the STI, but seating position is great. The throws are on the shorter side, same pedals and everything feels really good. But why don't we go ahead and really see what does that STI interior look like? and does that contribute to the 10,000 more asking price? All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 STI. What's really wonderful is that, guess what? There's one other change for 2020. All 2020 STIs come with keyless entry and push button start. That WRX over there still has a key ignition. So that's gonna separate you also price point as well. Compared to both, 
The Debra X is going up around $300 for 2020. This one's going up around $400 for 2020. This one, MSRP around $41,000. Let's see what you get. To the sill, you get a nice STI aluminum sill badging there, something that's not present on the Debra X. On the door panel, you're getting instead of leather, Alcantara with the red stitching, very nice touch, gloss black around the uh, controls for the door lock and the windows. Same soft material on the dash, but since they had gloss black on the door panels, they brought it into the uh, dash as well to kind of make it very cohesive. Same leather hood cover here with the red stitching and of course all that instrumentation that you could uh, pan through. You have that Starlink system, really easy to use, nice swiping feature, and of course this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The STI though has dual climate, so you turn this knob, it adjusts the temperature for the driver, you adjust this knob, it adjusts the temperature for the passenger. When we pan our way down, you still have that open cubby, a 12 volt. This is kind of cool, this is an STI badge that lights up at night when you have the lights on and stuff. Just little touches like that. As you can see, I'm telling you, play it back. The throws in this STI are much shorter than the throws in this WRX. They both have the optional STI shift knob, which is a nice touch. And then here's the real difference. First of all, you have a, this isn't it, but you have a sliding cup holder cover, but in the STI standard, you're getting your SI drive, which gives you three different modes, sport, sport sharp, and you push it down for intelligent, for like best fuel economy. And then this control right here is for that center diff. Three differentials. You could actually adjust sending power to the front, power to the rear. You could even lock them out. If you're gonna do gravel or snow, lock out the diffs and it'll help you navigate through it much better. Just like on the WRX, this one has the optional uh, armrest that raises and lowers. You do have heated seats. I wish that they had ventilated seats on the STI, so that is a zonk, but you're getting heated seats on both. And then speaking of the seats, this is a big upgrade. You have the STI embossed logo, Alcantara all the way down the center and I love the leather on the sides with the red trim and then of course if you're thinking race you're thinking rally you got to have the bright red seat belts now seating position is going to be exactly the same on the steering wheel you have the perforated leather it's actually different material the steering wheel is definitely higher upgrade material and feel on the STI gloss black with an STI badge and the instrumentation is the same except for that center display. And of course the STI badging. You gotta have your STI badges. There's about 55 and a half STI badges on this 2020 STI. But the reason why the, the center is different is because when you go into your different modes, it actually shows you the bar graph, uh, like almost like a dyno graph of those different modes. And then of course, if you're fiddling around with your center diff, it also shows up on the dash as well. This one includes the auto dimming mirror. That's an option, just like on that WRX, but still same great seating position, totally different transmission. Like I said, clutch, the whole nine yards, this thing is much more engaging, better feel, crisper, more mechanical, love it. Let's get to that part though. I know you're ready. I'm freaking ready. Let's take these for a spin. All right guys, so we're comparing the WRX to the STI. Let's do a little bit of an acceleration test. I'm gonna let out first gear, nice and easy. Second, into this right hand bend here. So zero to 60, about 5.4 seconds. I'm having a, a, a good feeling, a really good feeling that probably it's gonna be a little quicker in the STI. The thing that really I'm missing the most when comparing the two is that the Debra X has an electric steering rack opinion, whereas the STI has a hydraulic and the hydraulic, the older system, gives you better feedback. I still feel planted. I still have that great all-wheel drive, but it just feels a little bit more definitely rally car in the STI compared to this WRX. But still, you know, if you can't swing the $10,000 more, but yet you want to have a piece of that legend, a piece of that heritage, especially with this being the last generation before they change it, the WRX could really fit the bill. But very, very smooth. Um, that two liter, that FA motor, the boost comes in. You gotta wait a little bit, but it's not as long as the STI. The STI has that old turbocharged feeling to it, which is a lot different. 
than this WRX. The nice thing, guys, is when you're merging into traffic or anything with 268 horsepower, you definitely have plenty. I love looking out over the hood and seeing that hood scoop. Controls, everything is perfectly placed. It just, on the interior, you can feel it's a little cheaper. There's a little bit more hard plastic. The seats, being full cloth, are comfortable. It just it doesn't have that feeling of Alcantara um, like the STI has. And you'll see when we do the drive in that one. But I can hear the world of the turbocharger, which is really nice. And even though this doesn't have Brembo's, it still has great pedal feel and feedback. The thing that is not is just not my favorite is the shifter and the clutch. Still good. It just in the STI, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit more so. And what I mean by that is it's just more mechanical, shorter throws, um, a little bit more like you feel like you're part of the car compared to the WRX. But still, I'm telling you, this WRX will surprise the heck out of me. Right, guys, just to show you a little bit of ha handling characteristics, there's sort of this abandoned section of the parking lot back here on throttle in second gear. On the brakes, we're gonna make a left-hand bend here. Good feedback, very, very nice. That all-wheel drive sticking us on the brakes, over the rough pavement, feels good. Keep it in second gear. On the brakes, come to a complete stop. That's really where the WRX shines. Being around 3,200 pounds, it's a little lighter than the STI, um, and that's definitely gonna help it in the corners and whatnot, but, uh, Overall, just a fun car to drive, and it's nice to have options. That's the bottom line. And if you can't drive a manual or don't want to, you can get a WRX with a CVT transmission. As sacrilege as that sounds, it's nice to have options for people, like I said. And then on the brakes, left, really nice. I mean, it, you're not, there's no slippage whatsoever from any of the four corners. She really holds solid and stable. But we're gonna go ahead wrap this one up we got to get into the STI so I'll see you in a split second we're inside the 2020 Subaru WRX STI we're comparing this to the WRX right off the bat just the way the car idles it sounds different the engagement of the clutch the shifter the whole nine yards is totally opposite end of the spectrum compared to the WRX I really really think that if you could swing the higher price tag, just go for the STI. Uh, I, I think you're just gonna be that much happier in the end. I like the seats, especially with the higher end material, that Alcantara material. The steering wheel has that perforated leather, great to hold on to, just like the WRX wheel, still great, but I think really the one of the biggest points of the WRX STI is gonna be that hydraulic steering. The feedback in this, is much more precise than the electric steering rack in the WRX. But looking out and seeing that big iconic wing, for me growing up and watching WRC World Rally Championship with Colin McRae and everybody, it just, I don't know, there's just something about a Subaru STI and that big wing, it's just, it's ridiculous. And I know there's people out there that's like, I need to be more grown up. I can't have the wing, I'll go wing delete. Listen, that's your choice, whatever floats your boat, but for me, I don't care what anybody thinks, I'm gonna get what I want. And uh, definitely this STI checks off so many boxes. And I've driven them all, Type R, Focus RS, and they're all great, I promise you. Is the Type R faster? Sure, Type R is faster, whatever. Um, there's just something engaging about the drive. But very, very smooth, you know, it's interesting because it's all old school old school hydraulic steering, also that old school turbocharged punch. You gotta wait, 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 but boy, when you get up to 4,500 RPM, it's on full steam ahead, and you are just rolling through the gears in this beautiful six-speed transmission. I have it in Sport Sharp, because remember, comparing that premium WRX to this STI, you do have the different drive modes, the SI drive modes, um, and you do have the ability to control where the power is going with that center diff. I personally say just leave it in auto mode. If you wanna do auto geared more for the front or geared more to the rear, that's fine. But um, I wouldn't fidget too much with it, especially if you put it in full lock. If you put it in full lock on asphalt, you're gonna burn up the diffs. 
um, and it's not going to be cheap. Um, by locking the diffs, that's really meant for sand, gravel, snow, those types of things. Everything else though feels just like the WRX, just feels a little bit higher quality with the fit and finish. The materials, especially that leather on the center console, down where your, your knees are, um, the material that's even used for the center console is totally different than on the STI. And those are all these different things that's gonna equate to around a $10,000 higher price tag. All right guys, I'm in second gear on throttle. Third gear, I love that engagement, I'm telling you, third gear in this car is magic. Some gear boxes, it's like you gotta hope and pray, you gotta rub your lucky rabbit's foot, you gotta do a little dance before you get in the car to hit third from second. This gearbox though is a piece of cake and so smooth, the throws are so short and the feedback is amazing. Even with the STI, if you're new to manual transmissions, the clutch pickup point is perfectly placed. Much different than the RS that I used to have, the Focus RS. The Focus RS was almost like a on-off switch. The clutch in these STIs, just like the WRX, is very, very good. Good pickup point, good feedback. All that is really just spot on. But feels great to be in the STI. Now, suspension, it is a little stiffer in the STI, I'm gonna warn you now. But if you are okay with just having to compromise that, I think you're gonna be happy with the STI. But let's go ahead and go into this right-hand bend here, second into third. I'm telling you, it tracks so flat, and as you go through the gears, it just builds that speed so nicely, and you feel planted. The all-wheel drive system in this car, I know that it's been unchanged since 2004, the powertrain really hasn't been changed much. The transmission, these things have all been honed on those rally stages around the world. And you get it in this STI. Also like all the different noises, a lot of different sounds you're getting are different in the STI than the WRX. That just to me is, is really helping the whole driving experience. Whether you're looking at a, you know, you can look at a Mustang GT compared to an EcoBoost, compared to a GT350. You're gonna get different overall sensations and feelings between those, um, and you really get it in the STI. Visibility is awesome. You get the same great hood scoop. And those six piston calipers, you can feel it. When you get on the brakes, you really feel those cl calipers clamping down the rotors and really slowing you down a lot more efficiently than in the WRX. But as you can see over these bumps, it is a little bit more of a stiff ride compared to the WRX. But pulling out again, first gear, in a second, nice and smooth. Third, you see it? It's like so effortless. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Love driving these. It was because of doing reviews in STIs that made me want to get rid of my Focus RS and get back into an STI. So, still trying to be, uh, you know, not biased and whatnot. I'm, I'm giving it to you real. Is the car perfect? No. There's many things that I would still like to upgrade and change, especially when it comes to power overall. But uh, these types of cars are becoming harder and harder to find. And what I mean by these types of cars, I'm talking about engaging cars that are all about the driving experience. But I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave you a nice balance between WRX and STI. We're gonna get back to Loki Subaru and I'll wrap this up in a split second. All right guys, it's been a rally car filled day here at Loki Subaru. I definitely gonna thank Spencer, Montel and Larry opening up the doors, getting these two World Rally Blue Subaru WRX and the STI. What's great is, is that I'm not here to convince you of, hey, you gotta spend the 10 grand. I'm here to let you know that if you spend 10 grand more, what are you actually getting? Because many people believe that, hey, if I just throw a big wing on it, that's really the big difference. As you saw, many different things come into play. And then the big question now is, should you jump on this generation or should you wait for the 2021 Subaru WRX and STI? Stay tuned because there will be a follow-up to this. I also have the link to the white one we did that's full in depth, backseat trunk and everything else. Definitely check that one out. But if these are the types of things that you like to see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. 
If you want to help us keep making great content like this on Radies Rise, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, getting two rally legends all in one shot on the camera. Thank you for your hard work, Tom. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.